What's up, lawn freaks? So, yeah. I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video any time in the last, like, what, two months, three months. I'm sorry for that, but I'm going to start posting some more now on this channel. I've been posting vlogs on Extra Marsh, and I don't really have a lot of time nor money. And I've been just working like heck. And actually, this video is about, it kind of relates to that. This video is about, is my lawn care season over? Well, let's go find out. Hey guys, so, yeah. Is my lawn care season over? Lawn care or landscaping? The answer to that is no. Okay. Well, maybe, but I still have a lot of business. Okay, I have, to start this year, I had 10 clients. Mowed them, mulched all their beds, did all that stuff. Then I was able to get this. As you can see, over here, I have a trailer. I have an ATV. My grandfather provided me the ATV, and the trailer we already had, but, as you, oh, as you might know, I just bought a freaking eleven $1 hundred dollar lawnmower. One thousand one hundred dollars. Okay, so I spent a lot of money in this season. I have invested in a lot of crap. I got a new wheelbarrow, so that was like thirty bucks. So that wasn't that bad. I got some new tools. Forty bucks worth of tools, you know. So, if you start adding crap up, I've got like 12, 30 in the ground. Okay? So, I was in debt. And I just went, and I just bought a $1,200 computer. Okay? Oh, it's just neighbors, sorry. Yeah, I just bought a $1,200 computer. So, I can do stuff for you guys. Okay? That is a lot of money I've invested. So, that's over $2,000 I have spent this season in making better things for you and for me. So, as you can see, I have stuff hanging up on the walls. You might be thinking, why don't you just sell that? Marsh, you have two trimmers. Actually, no, you have three trimmers. You have an Echo. You have a, you have a Steel. And you have a Troy Built. Aren't you guys about to say right now, Marsh, why don't you sell one of your trimmers? The thing is, I want to sell them, but I need to do some work on them. That one needs some work, and the Echo, I'm not going to sell because that's the backup. I have many more things here, okay? I can sell. I can sell, I can sell that lawnmower, but what if that one breaks down? I need another one. You know, the, the season's not over. I have a lot of landscaping, a lot of stuff to do. I am doing a lot of cleanups, preparing my yards for the spring, preparing them actually to go through the long winter. Because, you know, here in Virginia, you guys have a pretty, we have a pretty freaking long, you know, winter. So, in Canada, you guys have to do a lot of stuff. So, we're not as bad as, like, people in Canada or, like, New Jersey they have a lot more preparation, but for me, I still have a lot, okay? I'm doing snow, okay? I'm using this for the snow, all right? I need to get a lot of freaking money in with these jobs so I can afford to buy, like, what, like $400 worth of salt. I mean, that's just an example, but, and I, I need to buy some new shovels. Uh, I need to try and get a freaking crew together, okay? I need to get some boys to help me. I need at least two or, yeah, something like two or something. I mean, if I could get one that's really, really good, I mean, I just got rid of one guy back here. I mean, he, he lives across the street. He, you don't follow, he doesn't follow your word. You don't get to stay in my company, okay? But no, this is... I mean, what can you do? You don't, 
like I just, what I just, so let me repeat myself. You don't follow the rules in my company, you don't get to stay in my company. Okay? Back here, I have someone that, I have one of my employees stay right back here, okay? I have straps everywhere. I have a bunch of, these things are full. I have a lot of stuff that I carry with me, okay? And I need more people because it, it's very hard for me to handle this stuff like that. But we're getting off topic here. Is my season over? I just said, no, it's not. Landscaping, okay? I have bushes that I pull out, okay? I had, I just dug 12 holes, like, yesterday, and I just hammered in 12 posts that were, like, 8 feet tall, okay? I hammered those things in the ground to 6 feet from 8 feet. Why don't you say, Mars, why don't you cut them? Well, they need to go in the ground because I'm basically building a garden for this lady, okay? That's a lot of freaking money for me. But on the plus side, I do get money from her back to me because I'm buying her stuff and doing the stuff. But I'm still, you know, paying a lot of stinking money, okay? Look right here. I'm using ATV here, okay? This thing... Holds like five gallons. You know, a lot of a lot of you guys have these gas cans. Okay, you guys have like a five gallon gas can like this. All right. I go through one of this every like three days if I'm working every single day. But so right now I'm currently going through this in about a week. During the actual season, I'm going through one of those a freaking day, five gallons a day. Okay, and this. Right now, let's see, what do we have? Yeah, we have two bars. So I'm going to have to put that, the rest of this in here, to, not, to barely even get a half one. This thing has a lot of freaking gas. So my season needs to get a lot of money. And for the end of the season, I'm getting a lot of money. Okay? So you see all this equipment? That costs money. So... My season, I have to maintain all this. To maintain it all, I need to get money. To do, to do my snow removal business, I need to get money. And yeah, this is actually the first year I'm having a snow removal business, and I'm using these two, the trailer and my ATV. Um, Henry's Lawn Service. He is going, I think he's doing... A, um, a small business this year, and next year he's going to bump up. Yeah, like me last year, I mean, I did a very small business, and this year I'm bumping up. Last year it was me and one of my employees, and we both had a shovel. It's just me and him and a shovel. Wait, yeah, that was last year. But, you, there's a car driving by. Anyway, but you need to maintain your equipment with money. You need money to maintain stuff. So, as you know, and I don't think you guys know, but my dad has a snowblower. It's a huge snowblower, right? My dad, he can handle it just fine, but sometimes if you hit one pebble, it's going to jerk you around because if it, because if it hits something, it's, gonna, it's just going to jerk you around. I'll show you that snowblower later in the future, definitely, because that's what I'm going to be using. And oh, I'll, I'll put the GoPro on it, and you guys can watch. But anyway, what I'm going to be putting here, I'm going to take the camera. So, we're going to have, we're going to put the salt in the front. So, because... We, cause I, as you can see, I got some, I got suspension right here. So this is that suspension, and that suspension. We're actually on different levels, which I gotta fix that. But right here, okay, we're gonna put salt in the front, cause this suspension handles a lot. So we want the weight, cause I'm gonna put some of the weight on the front. You might want it on the back, but if I put all the salt on the back and the snowblowers on the front, I can't get the snowblowers off. So we're putting the salt on the front to get some decent weight on it because as you can see it's not quite level okay it's a little you know up a little bit then it goes you know back down 
I'm gonna put the salt in the front and a snow blower up here and some shovels. The guy I used to work with, he had a snowblower. I said, yo, we can work together. Is this something? Okay. I said, yo, we can if we work together, we can have two snowblowers because he's got one. And well his dad bought it. Um, it's his dad's. But dude, we can work together and like we can have a good freaking like both businesses, okay? I've been working for him for three years, and this boy, okay, he freaking lies on a contract, okay? So, you know what? You don't, you don't obey my rules in my company, you're out the door. So, anyway, this is what we got here. Like I said, salt in the front, blower in the back, other stuff. This is just the cooler. This is for when I had a big, when I had, like, one day, or, like, for, like, a week, I had a lot of lawns. It was... I had three guys, or two two other ones, in, not including me, so I hired two other guys. One I already had, and another one I just hired, and we just worked all week during the summer. We just had a lot of crap in the cooler, and the cooler's still in the trailer, so. But yeah, and you guys haven't seen this, I don't think, but yeah, this is it. And, yeah, the... I I'm get I plan to get a new trailer next year, a bigger one, because all my crap can't fit on this. And I plan to expand because there is a person that okay that's what I used. There is a person that can help me. Okay. I have saved up enough money that I can get like a little Jeep or something. Something decent. Get it on like we can search on Craigslist and we can go to not dealers, because that's too expensive, but we get on, like, Craigslist and look for places that we can get some good cars. Or, not, you know, a car, but, you know, like a Jeep. Not something like that, an actual Jeep, okay? And if I get one of those, I can, like, you know, do what I need to do. Let me set my camera back up here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 